Hey guys, sorry about that. I have no idea what is going on with my phone. But this is the behind the scenes of cutting your pine tar soap. Can you guys hear me now? Guys, turn down the volume. Please let me know if you can hear me. Hopefully you can so I can continue. Yay. Oh, awesome. Okay, now let me fix this on the tripod and get back to normal. Um, someone asked a question and I didn't get to see the question. Something about something for men. So if you're, if you're on the live stream or if you were one that was watching the previous live stream and saw the question, please ask the question again because... I don't know what the question was, but I know it said something about men. So as I said in the love in the other live stream, when I cut the soaps, the initial cut is this big, but I turn around and cut it again, and your bar is half the size because this full bar is about eight to nine ounces before the water evaporates. And then after that, it's about 7.5 to 8 ounces. So I always sell my soaps um, this size. And that's always between 3.5 to 4 ounces. So your pine tar is usually between 3.5 to 4 ounces. Never less than 3.5 ounces. But this is my first time making, if you guys got to see the live stream yesterday, this is my first time making this big batch. I made 20 pounds of pine tar. It was a nervous wreck, but my soaps came out amazing. You could see a little sweat and you could probably see a little perspiration, but that's gonna dry off soon. And, um, and they came out nice and hard. They're not as soft as I expected them to be, so that's really good too. So these will be shipping out with next week's shipment. Some people get to have the butt part. Those I usually sell at the farmer's market because my farmer market people, they just love my products. It's okay that it has this crazy look to it, but they love the product. So let me see what questions are here and then I'll keep cutting. The items for men is the same for women. The, um, the hair growth oil that will be coming out shortly and the scalp butter, the hair butter, that's all unisex. There's not a particular for women and particular for men. I have all types of cultures that use those butters. I have men, women that use those butters. So it's not to a particular race or culture. I mean race or gender. You have hair, you can use it. Even um, someone asked a question about having um, a perm. Someone asked a question if they could use my hair butters if they have a perm. For people that have a perm, oh yeah, you and your husband can share it. Um, for people that have a perm, I suggest that they use the hair butters when they wash, after they wash and condition their hair. So the only difference between people that have a perm and people that have natural hair is that people that have perm, they can't really miss their hair as often as people that have natural hair. With natural hair, we missed our hair whenever we want to. But if you have a perm, you can't. So since any butter you use on your hair and body, you should have your hair and body damp. For people that have a perm, I just recommend them to use the butters every time they wash and condition their hair before they blow dry it or before they set it or however, before they put it in the rollers, they can um, put the butter in the scalp and they can put the butter in the hair. Now the only thing is another suggestion for people that have a perm, they should use way less butter because they don't want their hair to weigh down especially if they have thin hair to begin with because some people can be very heavy-handed 
when they're taking stuff out of the jars. So you guys know my stuff is a little bit goes a long way. So you really literally need a little bit at a time. The pine tar, the pine, okay, this is called the pine tar soap. The pine tar soap is great for people with eczema, with oily skin that needs to tone their skin. People with, I said eczema already, people that have um, trouble skin like dermatitis, um, rosacea, psoriasis, any type of skin condition you may have, this is always my go-to soap. So when people DM me on Instagram and they, they um, send me pictures and, uh, and explain their issue to me, nine times out of 10, I'm um, suggesting them to try the pine tar soap because it is that amazing. Now, yes, Cassandra, your order will be shipping out next week. I gotta finish this week's orders and get them out because due to Irma, I'm kind of behind on my orders, so I'm trying to get all the orders that were placed during Irma and while I was in Georgia, I want to get those out orders out first. Make sure those customers' orders are on their way, which a lot of them are already prepared for today. And then I'm going to be working on the orders that started to be placed after Sunday, the, this past Sunday. Um, so yes, the pine tar soap is amazing for so many things. So that is always my first go-to soap when people reach out to me and have skin issues. Now, the one thing I have realized that some people, their skin is so, so, so sensitive that the pine tar irritates them. So thank God, out of the hundreds of people that have tried the pine tar, I've only had four, I'll add an extra one, maybe five, that said that when they use the pine tar, they notice that their skin itch one of the customers noticed that she, she, her face broke out. So when I send you a set, whenever you order the pine tar and scar butter set, I always send it with instruction sheets. And one of the instructions are, if you notice your skin is irritated, stop the product and reach out to me. Because nine times out of 10, I will either have you switch over to the turmeric or I'll have you switch over to the spinach. And that is without a charge for the soap. I may just ask you to cover for shipping, but not the soap itself, because I want to make sure that you find something that works for your skin. Now, some people ask, what is the difference between the turmeric? Let me get the turmeric, hold on. Okay, so this is a turmeric soap. And of course the name comes from, and the color comes from reusing real turmeric root. Um, it has four essential oils that are amazing for the skin. And sometimes people ask me, what is the difference between the turmeric facial bar and the pine tar soap? In, in order, when it comes to healing your skin, the pine tar is number one, the turmeric is number two, and the spinach is just a good all around soap. Now the turmeric, the only thing with the turmeric, I don't suggest the turmeric for people that have dry skin. Because for myself, I've noticed that if you have dry skin, the turmeric soap will make your skin drier. So I never suggest the turmeric soap for dry skin, but if you have oily skin, you have blemishes, you have flaky skin, this is an amazing bar. And then, this is not cut yet, but this is the spinach soap because I only have three soaps in my line. This is the spinach soap and this is the least expensive soap and this is a good bar of soap for your body, your face and your body. So you have nothing wrong with your face and you just want a good all around soap. This is, uh, this is an amazing soap. So when I first started my line, I used to have a ton of soaps, but then I got to the point where I wanted to make soaps that were healing for the face and the body so I narrowed down to three soaps. In the future, I may add one more that has coffee and chocolate, and that would be my Haitian soap. Hold on. This is not cut, but this is the Haitian chocolate soap. I may revamp, revamp 
this formula to add Haitian chocolate in it, um, Haitian coffee, so I can make it an, an exfoliating soap. But that's something that I'm gonna probably add in the future. But um, let me go through this and, and see what questions there are. Just a second, guys, sorry. You can order now. You don't have to wait. Don't ever wait on placing your order because you wait on placing your order and everybody else is placing their orders and then you're going down in the line of soaps and then it runs out and I have to make more and then you're out, you're headed towards the next batch of soaps. So never wait to place your orders. Place your orders and I get them out as quick as I can. Um... I am working on my time frame. As a matter of fact, guys, some of you may have known and some may not. Um, it's storming outside, so hopefully the live stream doesn't cut off. And hopefully you guys can hear me with no problems. If there's any problems, just text it and let me know. Um, I've gone ahead and postponed going back to school. It was a very sad decision, but my business is growing so fast. Why are you making a lot of noise? My business is growing so fast. I want to make sure that I cater to you guys 100% and focus on you guys 100%. So with that, I'm going to be able to have more time to start back my classes that I used to have on Instagram Live and to be more available to you guys so I can continue to grow my business and make sure that you guys' skin is popping as it should be. So I postponed school. I don't know when I'm going to go back. I am going to miss school a lot. But right now, I just want to make myself available to you guys. So, with that being said, I am this month, uh, the end of the September, I'm going to re-up all my products and make them in bigger batches so that I can start shipping things out faster. I know that that is a problem. My shipping does take a little time, and I apologize for that because I'm the only one that does everything in this business. I make my products. I do the shipping. I... I take my shipping to the post office, like I do everything myself. I fulfill the orders. Okay, so my son is looking at me. He drops the, the products at the post office for, for me. But besides that, I do everything myself. So I appreciate you guys' patience, but my goal for October is to be able to roll the, your orders much quicker so that when you're ordering, I'm getting your stuff out at least no later than four days later versus the 10 days. So I, I appreciate you guys' patience. Um, awesome. You ordered on Etsy two days ago, so your order will be shipping out by next week. Like I said, I'm trying to work on getting these orders out faster. So give me a little bit more time, please. Because like I was able to make 100 bars of soap, I want to be able to make 100 of everything versus just making a little bit at a time. So, you guys, bear with me. Mommy, hopefully it stops before you leave. Okay. It's not gonna stop. It looks like it's gonna rain the whole day. Stop. Sorry, I'm just trying to make my stuff. I know, but you're also making a lot of noise. Comment down below if you think I'm making a lot of noise. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you ordered pine tar two days ago, your pine tar is coming out of this order. It's actually coming out of this batch because I ran out of pine tar since last week. suggestion I have for you guys when you receive your pine tar cut it up so you can actually cut this bar into four to six pieces like that instead of you taking the whole bar into the shower to wash your face and then it gets to, it, it, it dissolves because you leave it in water cut your bar up sometimes it may be a little soft so be careful make sure you use a sharp knife but cut your bar up and then just take a piece at a time to use for your face, especially if you're using it for your face. Now, if you're using it for your face and body, 
then cut a little one to two pieces for your face and then leave the rest for your body. But if you want your bar to last a long time, I suggest you cut up your bars when you get them. You're welcome. So that's why I know, but it's like going, coming that close. The echo is real. I'm gonna let this dry for three days and then I'll start packaging them up for next week's shipment. So guys, this is how I cut up your pine tar sole. Um, I can show you the other piece to this. Is once I let this sit for three days, I turn around and cut it again so I can get the size that I'm supposed to send to you. So I just pretty much clean this up. And I turn around and cut it in half. And this one looks a little crazy because I cut it too soon. I need it to dry a little bit more, but this is the size of the soap that you receive. And this should be about 3.5 to 4 ounces. Let's see. This is actually 4.1 ounces. So the, the ounces, they do vary. Um, and this will probably shrink a little bit because this is completely fresh. This is from yesterday's batch. So it'll probably shrink till about 3.8 ounces. So whenever you get your soaps, I want you guys to be aware that because I'm not this humongous facility where I can measure everything equally and I'm, I'm using machines to cut everything, where everything could be cut exactly the same for each one, you may, just, may notice sometimes your bar is a little bit bigger and maybe sometimes your bar is a little bit smaller, but it will always be bigger than 3.5 ounces. Let me tell them something. We are not one of the people that use machines. Guess what? Natural products, natural cuts. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Demar. He needs to be the spokesperson for my business. He said natural products, natural cuts. And it's true, because sometimes I'm getting ready to ship a bar and the bar looks humongous. <laughs> And then the next bar is exactly the size it should be, 3.5 ounces. So uh, when you get those bigger bars, just be happy for them. But when you get the size that you should get, the 3.5, don't look at the bar and say, this is a small bar. It's exactly the size you're supposed to be getting, okay? So if you guys don't have any more questions, um, let's see how many, let's see how much this batch made. Hold on. So, the big batch that I made yesterday, the 20 pound batch, it made 107 bars. Yay! Guys, I don't think you understand. When I first started, when I first started making soaps, I used to make soaps. Yeah, she called you the marketing manager, Damar. You see, I told you to make, you're the manager of my business. You don't believe me. So, when I first started making soaps, guys, I used to make soaps in this container in this mold and it only used to come out to nine bars now i'm making batches in a mold this big 
about three times the size. I just want to share how God is so good. He is really growing my business. I'm getting amazing feedback. I'm loving what I'm hearing about my products. And I'm feeling very blessed that I get to share information with you guys and I get to share my products with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to DM me. Again, if your orders were placed after Sunday, they will be shipping out tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and close. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, look at God. Let me tell you what I'm waiting for next. I'm waiting for God to bless me with a facility because I'm doing this at home and it's very hard. And you can imagine because I'm using strong essential oils when you walk in my house, sometimes it could be overwhelming. So right now I'm praying, I'm like, God, I need you to open a door where I can have a facility to make these products. So somebody, if they want to come visit my lab, they could come in and see everything in order. You know, my oils, my butters, my table to cut, my table to make, like, oh, I can't wait. But for right now, I'm grateful for where I am. I'm grateful for my little kitchen counter where I can make all my products and I can show you guys this growth. I can show you where I started from. So as I grow, you guys could be like, I remember when she was making products in her kitchen. So I'm excited. I know it's coming. So I just got to be patient and be prepared. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys always supporting me. Um, I will be back with our classes starting next week. If there's a topic you'd like me to cover, let me know. Because I am thinking for October to start doing webinars. So I really want to get stuff that I know in my brain and get it out. And I actually want to do some stuff on hair too. So let's see what happens. Thank you for joining and share my stuff with other people. Word of mouth is amazing. So share my stuff with other people. Love you guys. You have a blessed day. Bye.